going to talk about the tale of Peter Rabbit. To start off, we're going to read the story, and then we're going to do a little activity. So I'm going to read the story. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dears, said old Miss Rabbit, one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Miss McGreg Miss Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Miss McGregor. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I'm going out. Then old Miss Rabbit took a basket, her umbrella, and went through the woods to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail were good little bunnies, went down to the lane to gather their blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. First, he ate the lettuces and some French beans, and then he ate some radishes, and then feeling bad, and then he felt rather sick. He went looking for some parsley. But, round the end of the cucumber frame, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees planting out young cabbages, but he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, Stop, thief! Peter was most dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbage. I think I'm still recording the lights on. Among the cabbages and other shoes among the potatoes. After losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster. So that I think he might have gotten away together if he had not run unfortunately under, run into a gooseberry knot, and caught caught by the large buttons onto his jacket. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons, quite new. Peter gave up for lost and shed big tears, but sad were overwhelmed by some friendly sparrows who came and flew in his great excitement and implored to exert himself. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve, which he intended to pop upon Peter Rabbit, but Peter wriggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him, and rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in if, it not, if there wasn't so much water in it. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hid underneath by a flower pot. He began to turn over carefully, looking underneath. Precisely, Peter sneezed. Mr. McGregor was after him in no time, and tried to put his foot upon Peter, who jumped out of the window, upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor, who tried running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter sat down to, his, to rest. He was out of breath. Trembling with fright, he had not the least which way to go. He was also very damp, was sitting in that can. After time, he began to wander about, going lippity lippity not very fast, and looking all around. He found a door in a wall, but it was locked, and there was no room for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse was running in and out the stone doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her family in the woods. Peter asked her at the way to the gate. But she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. She only shook her head at him. Peter began to cry. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden, but he came more and more puzzled. Precisely, he came to a pond where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. She sat very, very still. But now, then, the tip of her tail twitched as if it were alive. Peter thought of the best way to go without speaking to her. She had heard about cats from his little cousin, Benjamin Bunny. He went back towards the tool shed, but suddenly, quite close to him, he heard a noise of a hoe. Scratch, 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 scratch. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. But precisely as nothing happened, he came out and climbed upon a wheelbarrow 
and peeped over. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hauling on onions, his back turned towards Peter, and beyond him was a gate. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could, going along straight behind, walking behind some black curtain bushes. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner, but Peter did not care. He slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow to frighten the birds. Peter never stopped running or, looked, or looking behind him till he got home to the big fir tree. He was so tired that he flopped upon the nice soft sand of the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking, so she wondered what she had done with his clothes. It was that the second, it, this was the second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter had lost in that had lost. I am sorry to say that Peter was not well during the evening. His mother put him to bed and made him some camel of tea. She gave him a dose of it. She gave a dose of it to Peter. One tablespoon to be taken at bedtime. But Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. All right. So that is the end of the tale of Peter Cottontail. So. Krista, name a couple items that you heard throughout the story. I heard lettuce and cucumbers. And cucumbers. Brittany, name some additional items that you heard. I heard cabbage and potatoes. Cabbage and potatoes. All right, so now, here you go. Now we are going to do a little sorting activity. We have items that are found not in the garden and items that are found in the garden. So I'm going to give you these little objects and you guys are going to need to sort them out whether they are in the garden or not in the garden. If you guys need help clarifying what the item is just let me know and I will be more than happy to help you. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm done. You are all done? Are you all done, Krista? Yep. All right. Krista, name one of the items that you thought was in the garden. The beans. The beans. All right. Brittany, name one of the items that you thought was not in the garden. The bread. The bread. What did they do with the bread? They ate it. They ate it for dinner. And where did uh, Peter Rabbit's mom get the bread from? The market. The market. She went there to get the bread. So what is this item? Umbrella. Umbrella. Was it in the garden or was it not in the garden? Not, not in the garden. Not in the garden. What about the... Beans were the in the garden. Beans were in the garden. <laughs> That's okay. Krista, come up and pick one of the items. And what is that? Lettuce. Lettuce. Was it in the garden? Good job. Brittany, come up and pick one of the items. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. <laughs> We're in the garden. We're in the garden. What about? We already said the bread. Where was that at? Not in the garden. Not in the garden. And let's see, what else do we have? We have milk. 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 What did they do with the milk? They drank, drank it. it. Who drank it for dinner? His brothers, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. But Peter Rabbit did it because he was sick. Mm. What about this item? The, the basket. basket. The basket was not, not in the garden. Not in the garden. And what about that parsley? Parsley was in the garden. In the garden. And Blackberries were in the garden. Were not. 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 And last but not least, we have radish. radish. Radishes in the garden. were in the garden. All right, Crystal, what is your favorite item in the garden? Mm, cucumbers. Cucumbers. Brittany, what is your favorite item in the garden? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. You guys both <laughs> like cucumbers? They're really good. All right, so does your papers match what is on the board? Yes. 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 All right. 
They may not be in the exact same order as they are on the board, that's okay, but as long as they match. So save those and you guys are gonna glue them together. Um, but good job today. And thank you, Miss Thanks, Miss Casey. <laughs>